to my channel I hope you're all doing well so in today's video I'm going to film a mixing all my foundations together video this has been going around for some time I'm not sure who started it but I will try and link it if I find the person who started it but um, most of my favorite vloggers or youtubers have been doing this and I just thought it'd be interesting to to do one so I have about 10 foundations from nine different brands and I will describe my shade or my skin tone as dark with yellow or golden undertones. We're just going to swatch these foundations. I've got my bowl here. But yeah, we're just going to swatch and see what the outcome will be. And it'll also be interesting to see how these shades sort of look um, side by side with all these other brands. So let's get started. Right, starting out with one of my absolute faves. So this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. And I am in the shade... 6W1 Sandalwood. So this is what Sandalwood looks like. Next up I have the uh, Benefit Hello Blur Soft Soft Blur Foundation in the shade number 9. The Estee is one of the full coverage foundations I have and this is the sheerest of them all. This is like my everyday um, foundation. Right, so here's what it looks like. Moving on to one of my absolute faves, this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation and I am in the shade 390. So this has started to turn orange on me. This used to be my ultimate, this was my perfect shade but for some reason it's starting to turn orange on me and also other people in the same um, range have noticed that as well. Alright, so this is Fenty. Okay, moving on. I'm going to swatch the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and I am in the shade Medium Dark 5 New Guinea. Next we have L'Oreal Too Much and I am in the shade 8N Cappuccino. I think they had some in between shades as well. I think they had like 8G which is the 8 Golden. But I can't find it anywhere of the UK stores, which is pretty annoying. Right, so next we have the Stila All Day Foundation and Concealer. So I really like the packaging because it has the concealer on the top here. But this is absolutely rubbish. Um, and then you pull the lid off. And then you got a foundation with a spatula, which I think is pretty cool. So this is the shade Warm 13. This is another sheer on the sheer side as well. But this leaves me very, very greasy. Right, so next up we have the Milk Blur Liquid Matte Foundation. And this is in the shade Golden Deep. So I'm just going to do a quick recap on here. So first one is Estee Lauder and then the Benefit, Fenty, NARS and L'Oreal and then we have Milk Makeup. Next I have these two from Makeup Revolution. This is the Matte Base Pore Blown Full Coverage Foundation and I have the shade F13 and F13.5. So these shades were described as one is meant to be with um, golden undertones and one is neutral. I think. 13 was described as neutral undertone and 13.5 was described as golden undertones but now that I have both of them I think they are wrong, they are, they are the other way around so <laughs> let me just quickly swatch so you know what I'm talking about so this is 13 so this is shade 13 and then I'm going to swatch 13.5 Alright, so I'll go here. I hope you can see, but you can see how neutral and how cool it looks compared to the other one. Alright, so next we have uh, the ordinary colour. So I have the serum and the coverage foundation. I have them in two shades because 13.1, which is described as dark yellow undertones, this is too light for me. And then I have 13, uh, sorry. I have 3.2N which is deep neutral and this is too dark for me so I have to mix them together to get my actual shade. So I'm going to swatch the serum in 3.1Y first. So sorry this was the coverage. This is the serum, it goes down here. 
how yellow that looks. Now swatching the coverage in the 3.2N. There we are. Very dark. Now I'm going to swatch the serum in the 3.2N. So that will go. That's very watery, right? So that's everything. All the swatches on my arm. Um, so here is everything. I'm just going to mix it together. And here's what it looks like now. And we are going to see how this looks on my skin. Right. Oh, it's very thick. Alright, so looking in the mirror, I'm not getting a lot of yellow undertones coming through. Um, it looks more neutral on me, but looking in the camera, it looks quite, it looks, it matches my neck. I'm just going to slip it on this time instead of spreading it on my face. But it's very thick to blend. <laughs> right, so here's everything blended in. I think it's a perfect match. Um, looking at my neck, because the upper part of my neck is quite dark. And I always struggle to find foundations to match it, but from my chest, from down here to my chest, this is a perfect match. I'm actually surprised that we found a perfect match with all these foundations, so maybe that's just, this is what I should be doing or wearing. Oh, how interesting. I'm going to try and finish this. I'm going to go and do the rest of my makeup, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like with everything. Be right back guys right so here is the finished look you know what you guys think I like this I like the foundation a lot and like I said I did not expect it to sort of match my skin tone so perfectly um, or not I'm not sure you let me know <laughs> it could do it a little bit more yellow but I guess maybe a brighter highlighter and um, not highlighter concealer would probably would have been able to give me those undertones that I'm, I'm missing but I'm not mad at this I actually like this finish very much and yeah so like I said this was just a quick video so let me know what you think if you like this and yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye